Hi guys, welcome to Flight C as we are down in Dusseldorf with SAS and the 737-800. We're going to do a three-leg uh, trip today. We're going to go from Dusseldorf to Gatwick and we're going to go from Gatwick to Liverpool. We'll take uh, Liverpool up with Tui or we could take SAS with the same uh, and go up there. So we're going to be going for a flight level of 320. And uh, flight time is around an hour and 15 minutes to Gatwick. Everything here, cost index is going to be around 38 for us. One hour departure route. And we've got the cell temp as well for our uh, D rate takeoff. So don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Help us get to that 2K. Okay, so we're in the 737 800. So we'll go overhead. We'll get our battery on and guarded. Standby power is guarded. And the ground power is on. We'll go to bat and the ground power. We'll go overhead now. We'll get the irises aligned. As we can see, we've got quick line, so we get the flaps checked. So we'll check the flight data recorder, which is checked. Flight speed warning test, which is checked. Stores will come on off the electrics. The gears 3 green, which is also checked and going in our window heats on. We don't have the emergency lights, we get our charms and faster signals on. So the trim air and get the packs on. We want to go for flight number 320 today. So 320 is sent. Get our panel lights all on now and get the aircraft all set ready for our departure out. Turn on the positions and any collisions. We'll get our center console as we're going to be uh, leaving out on the Sovereign Run Yankee. So there we go, that's all there set and done. We're going to do our uh, fire test, so kill off the recall. Uh, 
then we've got our minimums etc. We've got three degree glide path and we should be coming in for around about 140, 145 tops, so around 750 to 800 feet per minute. So that is our arrival. And for our departure, we're going to leave up to the 068 with next 220 knots. Then we'll go up to 250 by the Delta Fontrot 964 on the 191. Then we'll point 90 and we'll make that right turn to the 262. And then we'll get to Sobra. So everything's all set and done there. We can now get on with the AP. And on the fuel damper, we'll get the electrics on. If you please, uh, we'll get the time. Go down into the FMC, so that's all done there. We'll activate that up, we'll get our gross weight, we've got reserves on 2, we've got cost index of 38.04320. As you can see, steep descent at Mayfield, so that could be for the, uh, for the hold as well. So we can uh, chain that turn left into that Mayfield view on. Okay, so that's it for the review. So holding by the one point five three thousand K four thousand two. So we can activate that all up. We're getting the uh, ICD issue, etc. Now so three two zero two three seven zero five seven. And on the ISO that is minus fifty six. Okay, trans is 5,000, cell temp is going to be 59, which should give us 89 on end one. Take off, we are going to be doing the flaps 5, 145, 146, and 148. So there's 148 plus 15, and 163. Get the first officer's side set, we'll go in and get the 80s as well. Okay, we'll send that off, we'll get the uh, centre of gravity as well, which is 27.3. Okay, 4.75 on the trim. And which we'll leave there, which is all set. Go back in and get the ATIS now. And it should be ready for us to ping over. Whilst that's doing that, we'll watch over the APU, go to the APU. Gen, everything's all good here. So the ATIS is back 04005 knots. Okay, it is dry, so that's fine. These speeds are all the same there, we changed either. Take off weight at 69.5, so we're going to do an HS. Okay, which is already set, which is fine. So we should be in for a, a rocky arrival. It's saying that there is a, some bad weather around in Gatwick at the time, so we we'll just sort out our uh, view. Here we go. So what we can do now is we can uh, call the tuck and get ready to push back. So we'll turn on the APU bleed, turn on the engine please. And we've got the tug now ready to tug. Just go and we'll check to see if we've got any uh, VORs on the way out of our uh, departure. So as it's the RDAM, we're going to follow it around to that right turn from the 068.
somehow connected and bypass been inserted. Release parking brake. Starting pushback and you may start the engines. Okay, so ground position lights and collision which is on and then it starts to both nothing difficult to do is ground service plus turn off for so and go for engine number two starter. Start valves open now. And two's increasing. Oil pressure will come to life from twenty five seven two. complete. Please set parking brake. Okay. Uh, connecting tow. Stand by. Tower is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed and things no longer left. I'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. So, we are now all set and ready to go. As you can see here, we're going to come out of November 8. We'll make our way all the way down until we get down to Yankee, where we'll then turn on to the Yankee one. To the Mike 29, and it will line up for runway 07 right. So, all system checks are fine. We can now put the lower display unit to the blank, put the airport on, get our weather on as well. And we are all set and ready to go. So, we turn on our taxi lights now. Everything on overhead is fine and checked. So, what we can do is we can release the brakes and the taxi will come out. Series seven right. Okay. So off we go now. And as you can see we come out of the runway. We're gonna come out and to the left, we're going to November seven. And then we'll head out on to the taxi lane. So here's no uh, November seven right here.
So here it is, we're going to come out onto the 061. And we can confirm that with our departure, which is 068. So the 061 straight out onto the 068. Just back to get our runway here. Then we'll go to 220. Now we'll go down onto the 191. So let's just zoom that out a little so we can get the whole figure in. Okay, everything's all set there. We're going for 320. That's 9,000 feet near the end of our uh, thing, and we're not on to uh, that sim. So we'll go overhead now, get the uh, landing lights on. We'll go over and put the, uh, the transponder to TAR in. Everything's all set and ready to go. So, can't release the brake.
thousand to go. Thousand to go. Thousand to go. Twenty five hundred.
thousand feet, stabilize, Mr. Birch altitude set.
Ice can be turned off, packs can be set to off, isolation valves open. take the 757 back to Luton Airport. So we're going to go with Ryanair up to uh, Liverpool. So we've got here, it's all set up, fuel's ready and all we need to do is just turn her on and get her all set ready for the departure. So again don't forget to like and subscribe guys, help us get to that 2k subscriber goal and now we can get inside the aircraft and start the aircraft up ready to go. Okay so we're in the 737-800 so we'll get her set up all quickly and ready to go. So battery is on and guarded, standby power is guarded, ground power is on. Put the uh, bat and ground power on, we'll get the packs all ready to go. Flaps lights can be uh, checked. We'll test the flight date recorder. Test the max speeds. Three green for the gear down. Can open the dome. We'll get our circuit breakers on. The panel lights. We'll get the window heats on. Arm the emergency lights, get our chimes on, fasten seatbelts, 
and everything all overhead. We can turn on the trim air, we can get the packs on, isolation valves are open and bleeds are on. We are going for a flight level of 240. We're going to be coming back out of uh, 26 left. We can go get the uh, elevation, which is for runway 09. We're coming in, it's 59, so we'll leave that at 50. We'll turn our position, anti collisions, logo can go in for the fun of it. Go down onto our center console now, get the lights all ready to go as we get ready to leave out. Okay, so that's the IRS ready. So we'll go in and get that all set up. So we we'll go to the position, the initial ref. We've got Echo Golf Kilo Kilo, which we'll grab from the left GPS. We'll put that in. From Gatwick, we're going to be going to Liverpool, which is Echo Golf Golf Papa. For the departure out, we are taking runway 26 left, and the departure sit is the LAM 6 mic. So the Lambourne 6 mic, which is set. Go to the route now. From Lambourne, we have got the November 57, which is going to take us to Welling. From Welling, we've got the Tango 420, which takes us to uh, Tango November Tango, which is the VOR. And then we've got the uh, we'll go for Wrexham. Okay, so we'll activate that in. We'll go to our Perth. We get our reserves of 1.5. Got a cost index of 38. Flight level is 240. ISA and cruise wind up on our departure is going to be 234035055. Sorry, that's going to give us minus 31. Trans out 6000. Cell temp is going to be 54 for the D rate. And over on our takeoff, we're going to go for flaps 5, so 147, 148, and a 151, which we can now bug. So we'll bug the 151. On our departure out, we can see that we're going to be at 5,000 all the way, and then 6,000 when we're 10 DME from the Lambourne at VOR. So stay for 5,000 right now. We can set the uh, Courses and headings for the runway 261 is the 258. Which is set. Go over now, so the 258 will set on our headings as well. As that's where we're coming out from. Max bank, everything all set. There we go, get our center of gravity. Okay, which is 27.6 gives us 4.75 so 4.75 on the trim we can say we've got right there which is all set as well we'll get the ATIS now for the aircraft which we can set now, so we'll send that off and wait for that to come. We can also get the VORs in for our departure. So we're going to put in the Detlin, which is the 1173. And then from Detlin, we've also got the Lambourne VOR, which is the 1156. Okay, which will set off so we can see there we've got Detlin and Lambourne will come in as we uh, get closer to the 1156, and that will be on the 337. Okay, which is set. Now will be coming out backtracking onto the 079. Okay, which is set. 
Go put one pump on now, we'll get the APU all started up. Can now put on the yaw damper, electrics can now come on. After the APU comes to life, then we'll uh, put the APU bleed on and we'll get the probes on after the start. Engine starts can go to both. And uh, we are pretty much all set, so we've got a D rated takeoff 54 on the uh, systems. And just as the APU is starting, we can just quickly run the test. So we've got the overheat there. And yeah, we've got the overheat there, which is set. Do the cargo test, which is all set. And we can quickly run through the terrain warning Lights test. Hold up. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Obstacle. Obstacle. Pull up. Airspeed low. Okay, so that's all set now. Switch over, go into the APU gen. We've got now fuel pumps, and we'll grab the ATIS now as that's all ready for us. So 1009 is on the QNH. 1009, as we are using the real time weather, so it is exactly uh, on the meters as I've checked. 180 at 10 knots. And I've also turned off the uh, Vulcan as well, so if we do get some rain, we will see that. Okay, same again, 151. So, we are pretty much now all set for our departure. So, what we can do is we'll call the tug and Round we'll get services as everything's all switched off. Doors are shut and locked, and we can start the flight leg. So, we're coming out flaps 5. Got V rotate at 148. 151, which is for our V2 plus 15. 166. Okay, so tugs gonna lift us up now. So flight deck door is shut now. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Okay, so he's going to connect us up, and then we are going to get ready to leave. So there's our left turn, well, right turn onto the 079, which we're going to turn onto as we uh, depart out. And for our speeds, as we do come out, max 220 below 4000 and above 1500 feet, which is 2.3 DME. As we then spin round, 10.5 from Detlin, we'll then make that 337 left turn, a bit 5,000, and then 6,000 by 10 DME from Lambourne. And then from there we can then go up to 240, so we'll probably just... So connected uh, and bypass change. pin inserted. Release parking brake. Okay, so turn the packs off, put the APU bleed on, turn the engine bleeds off, we can release the parking brake. Starting pushback and you may start engines. Okay, so we're going to start engine at number two. So start valve is alive. N2 is increasing. Wait for 25 percent, and then at 25 we'll introduce fuel, and we'll get everything all set up and ready to go. So, engine number 2 now, 57% N2 and the start cutout is out, so we'll go for engine number 1. EGT is stabilised now. So, N2 is increasing, oil pressure is coming to life. And at 25% we'll inject the fuel and watch the EGT increase the exhaust gas temperature. So there it is, 23, 24, 25, and introduce fuel. EGT increasing now, N2 rising. And engine number one now is now coming to life. Secure as the crew and I demonstrating. Two Operation two complete, jacket, set parking brake. The red toggle. There is a mouthpiece for further inflation or deflation and a light to attract attention. 
Do not inflate your life jacket inside the cabin, as to do so will impede your exit. Further information may be found on the safety card, which is displayed within the area you are seated. Your captain invites you to read this card carefully before departure. Please now ensure that your seat belt is securely fastened. Okay, so we are now all ready to go. Parking brake can be set. Disconnecting toes, stand by. So, we'll switch over the buses now. Turn on the probes, we can get the packs on. Isolation valve to auto. Engine beats can go on with the APU bleed. We can turn off the APU, go over to the Gen 1. Ding the cabin, let them know that we are ready to go. And we get our systems check all done. So, we've got full left, full right, full forward, full backwards. Rudder left and a rudder right. So we're just waiting for the tug now and then we can get out of here. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Okay, see you soon, bye bye. So, we're going to basically go down Cubit Alpha and then take a right turn onto Lima, another turn onto Cubit, and then we'll follow her all the way up to uh, Zulu. We'll make that right turn onto Mike 426 left. So, Cubit Alpha, Lima, Cubit, and then we'll get down onto uh, Zulu. So everything is all set now. So can okay, release the parking brake, and we'll now taxi on up to runway uh, two six left. So as we taxi on down now. So we're going to take a right here for Lima and we can also turn on our taxi lights where they can now go on with the airport. So the bridge looks really nice. So as we come down now, I'm going to continue ready for Lima. Take the left on to Quebec and then we'll follow that down. So we've got 10 knot winds 180. So we should be coming over from the left. So now we're going to go on to Quebec. We'll follow around now, but we're going to join on. So we're using Vivid Sky, we've got Reshade and we've got the X Plane uh, lights in as well. So as you can see, this is going to be our turn for the next left. See now we're going to taxi all the way down Zulu.
taxi on straight ahead now and then we'll take that right hand turn for Mike which is going to be our next right hand turn So there's Alpha. There's a Victor. And Mike's right here. So we're going to get ready now. Taxi on to runway uh, 26 uh, left. And as you can see, we are all ready uh, to go. So we can turn on our landing lights, runway turn offs, taxis are all on, strobes can go on with the wheel well, ding the cabin, let them know that we're ready to go. We are all set, so way. we can arm the L now. And the auto throttle. So we're all ready to go now, and we are all set. So we'll go up to 40%, and so we go. So forward pressure on the yoke. Looking for 90% N1. Airspeed live. Check. Front hold. We've got to do the auto brake. So as we now climb up, we are now going to get ready to go into that right-hand turn. Which is going to see us off onto 079, 1000, 3000 above, and below 4000 for when we do come in. So we can go up to our flaps one. That's max 220. So we can start to speed the aircraft up now. Let's get ready to go onto 079. Okay, 079 which is set, we now lower the pitch of the altitude so we can then start to speed up a little as we get ready for that right hand turn now. So as we come into that right hand bend now, ready to take the 079 course back to intercept for Dentlin. So you can see Lambourne's come to life now. And we'll go up to our flaps up. As we come around the bend now. So flaps one, which is set. Get a bit of trim as the flaps have come up now. As you see, it's a little rocky. Okay, so we'll wait until we get out of this turn. We'll go flaps up as we're going to hold the turn. Then 
once we come back for the 079, then we can uh, head on up. So, we'll just pitch the aircraft's nose up just a little more. 1,000 to go for 5,000, where we are going to stay and hold on for. Uh, nose just a little more. As we leave our flaps up speed now, and we're going to that left hand turn now to get back on track for Detlin. There's 5,000 feet we need to stay for. So we keep the aircraft nice and stable now. As we're following the flight director. Coming back inbound onto the 079. And holding for 5,000 feet. Fly the aircraft manually as we just blast through the clouds. So we're just trying to stay on with the uh, PFD for the flight director. There's 250 now as we go. So, what we can do is we can put on the autopilot now, where the aircraft will now keep us for 5,000. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to go into uh, the routes, go to Perth. Execute that off, and now we'll get VNAV. So, the aircraft's going to stay exactly how it is because that is how we've programmed it. We are currently 5,000 feet all the way, 10.5 DME from Detlin, we'll then go on to the 337. So, 25 DME from Detlin right now, Lambourne is 26.5. We turn 10.5 from the Detlin VOR onto the 337 and then 10 DME from Lambourne we can go to 6,000 feet. So, after takeoff checklist we've got landing gear which is up and off, we've got auto brake which is off, we've got flaps up, no lights. We've got 6,000 feet for the trans altitude which is all uh, set and ready, we're at 5,000. 10 DME from Lambourne we'll go to 6. Then as we just fly over now, we've got our start switches which can go to continuous. As always, do forget to set them before departure. And that is pretty much it for the departure. So, we're going to hold 5,000 feet. We'll take it until we uh, just get up around the bend. And then we'll go to uh, 6,000. So, we'll get 6,000 programmed in. We are going to be ready to go up. Going to get ready to go into just another set of clouds as we follow the standard instrument departure out. So, currently 19 DME. 10.5, we'll make that left turn to the 337. So, 10.5 on the Detlin VR. We'll then turn left to 337. There you see is now in view. That'll be the 10.5 uh, right here. So plus eight now, what we can do is put the engine out to ice. Put a wing anti ice on just whilst we're going through the clouds. Fifteen point three DME away. And then we'll head on to the three three seven. So 24 knot winds just coming from the back right. It's 13.2. As we get ready now, just approaching near the 10.5 uh, DME marker. Poor Devon. So we can now put it on to the 337. Which is set. Yeah, we can also see on our legs page, 337. Then 10 DME from Lambourne, 
we can then uh, then be me from uh, Lambourne we can go up to uh, 6,000 feet mind went blank for a second here guys so we've got a lovely reshade we've got the vivid sky you should see that when we come down in for our arrival so you can see we've got 6,000 which will be 10.5 uh, 10 DME from level. So just swing around the bend. I didn't put no autos in uh, in this flight. On to 337 now. So, as we now uh, back up inbound to Lambourne, so you can see we now got Lambourne. Now we've just got the 337 here. So we are all set to go. What we can do is we can uh, we can go up to six thousand now. As we're only uh, just near, so we take the aircraft up to six thousand. That's we go. On climb two power. Six thousand feet. I'm just going to stroll along now to Lamble. So as you make our nice little cruise over to Liverpool Airport, Air Course drop drop now below two five zero. Just getting ready now as we just skim the cloud surface. As we've got some low level clouds. So there's QH for 6,000 feet. It's always nice when you just skim the clouds as you're just coming over them, as it gives that nice, as they fly past the windscreen, it's nice. Okay, so once we go on to this left turn, we should really be down for 6,000, this is 6,001 because obviously we've uh, switched over the Q and H's. But we'll leave it there as we're going to get ready now to uh, make that left turn to go up towards uh, Welling onto 315. So you get to see some lovely cloud coverage tonight as we're uh, still at 6,000 feet. Just getting ready as we then head outbound. You can see Liverpool is just up there. So it's not too far on our progress. can see everything that we need here. We've got the airports, we're expecting 5.1 fuel. We've got seven at the moment. C6 at Welling and Lambourne 6.9. Okay, so what we can do now, seeing as we are going to go up to 240, and the weather's now changed again. We can now tell the aircraft to go straight up to 240. 
So, cancel out its uh, altitude restriction and we'll go straight up now to 240 as we swing out left turn now onto 315. So we're leaving out now 250 until 10,000 feet. Passing Lambourne. As we now make our way up towards Liverpool. Okay, so we're now passing through 8,700 feet, just near tipping to 10. So what we can do is we'll put the landing lights and everything off now, get the aircraft all configured. So landing lights off, runway turn offs, taxis, wheel well and fasten seat belts can now be switched on. That is 10,000 feet, we'll speed up to our acceleration speed now. So as we climb up for 240 now, we can go to our takeoff cinematics guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe, don't forget to that 2k subscriber goal. And I'll see you when we get back into the flight deck, ready for our top of the set to come down into Liverpool. So, I'll see you guys in just a sec. Right now we're just making our uh, top of descent down from Tango, November Tango, as we're now going to track inbound to come in for the arrival. So we are now at TNT Trent, going to turn on to the 280, which is uh, we're going to now uh, get in the Wallers B, which is the 114 decimal 1. Okay. 
So we've got Wallersby in now as we head on to the 280, coming down for 230. And once we expect to come in down from Nanty, we'll stay on the 280 now until we get to Keegan. And then once we get to Keegan, we're then going to basically come up and on the arrival we are pretty much going to come all the way up to Wallersby we're then going to take a left turn to Barros, come back on the 117 and then that will dip us in on the arc ready to come in for 2,500 feet so we're set for the ILS where the glide slope is here for 7.5 for the localizer so we've got a 3 degree glide path, we'll get everything all set up so for our minimums 260 Okay, which is set. Everyone's the first officer signed. 260, which is set. We'll go in and get the ATC now. Send that off. Start switch to continuous. Fast and seatbelts can now be on. As we start to send through 220, you can see we're coming down now. For the runway 10,000 for Keegan's 13.6, we've got Nancy at flight level 207. So it's past now as we'll stay down with our speed all the way down to the D cell, which you can see is right there. As we head down from Nancy, is 19.1 DME away. So we've got Wallersby, this is going to be the NDB ILS, so the NDB for Liverpool is 349. Which is set. Okay, so as you can see now the uh, weather's starting to uh, change. It's just reloaded itself. So passing through flight level 210. Aircraft will start to throttle back. Go in and get our landing weights and everything. So 69.8, we're going to come for 95.3 to 5. So we take 0.4 off of that, which is 69.4. So we're going to do flaps 3152. Going on to our performance. Coming for runway 09. The wind we'll get from the ATIS in just a sec. So got broken at 1900, few at uh, broken at 2600, few at 1900. Again broken again 3100. QH is 0998. Temperatures in dew point is 10.07. So, 170.18, gusting at 28. So, we'll just put it at that. For now, 67.4, flaps 30, anti ice, which is all on the turn off the wing anti ice now. As we come in, passing through 19,000. You see the vertical deviation is decreasing now, so once the vertical deviation gets back in, the intercept and will uh, follow down onto the deviation path. So everything's all good there. Let's check out braking. So we've got max and auto brake number three. So we'll do auto brake max. As you can see, 17018 gusting at 28. So that should be uh, something nice to see as we lower down to, to the aircraft. So we're going to our plan now. I'll show you the arrival quickly as we come in. So what we're going to do is, where we come down from Keegan, we're going to make that turn and we're going to intercept our Wallersby. We'll make that left turn to Barrows, which is right here on our arrival chart. So we're going to go to Barrows, which will be uh, on the 276. As you can see, the 276 to Barrows. Then we'll come back for Tide Pod, which is the 117. And then from the 117, 4,000, we'll drop down to 2,500 feet for that 7 DME arc. 
where we'll come round for the localizer. The localizer is set for 2,500 feet. The is set in 260 for 200. And transat shoots 5,000, so 0998, which is set. And 0998, which is also set. We can set the localizer to 11175. Which is set, so localizers are all in. Okay, everything all set there. Liverpool's uh, ADF is in as well, so 385, 385. So we just switch this one over. That will come into view once we uh, once we get it all set. So 349. There's the Liverpool ATF. So, I can leave that in for now until we uh, come near. As we're going to be using the Wallersby uh, VOR, it's right here, and then switch switching over. So, we are now at 13 uh, DB from Keegan, where we're then going to slow down to now 2500 below. There's a vertical deviation coming, so we're staying at a thousand feet per minute until we uh, basically intercept the uh, vertical deviation, which will then take us down onto our flight path. So we can see 1.7 is our uh, flight path angle, vertical bearing was 4.2. So we're just waiting now to interlock in with VNAV, and then the uh, vertical deviation will intercept. So we'll watch now. Now the aircraft's come out of a thousand feet per minute and is now going on to its descent. So when you hit altitude intervene, the aircraft will come down at 1000 feet per minute until it intercepts the vocal deviation. So if you're under it, you'll wait to catch it and then the aircraft will go back into its descent. So we're getting ready for our decel now, passing through 15,000. Everything is all set for our descent checklist. So we've got pressurization and land altitude which is set, which is 57. Anti-ice which is on, the approach is brief. We're going for the NTB ILS 09. We're going to be uh, intercepting onto the 087. Okay, there's the D cell for 250. So, we're going to speed rings. Okay, 087, 10,000, we're going to take it down to 4. And the aircraft is still in its uh, vertical path, VNAV path. So, as we now run from a Kerog, we're now going to go on to. 004 okay, which is set there's 250 coming around that we can lock in the speed brakes passing through 13,005 Next D cell be two four zero for Barris. So you can see we're gonna make that left turn onto Barris, which is gonna be the uh, two seven six. That's a through thirteen thousand feet now. Okay, so I'll put her over to two seven six now. Save us doing that as we come round to make that left turn. So you guys can now see as well as be 
we're going down to Wallersby onto the 096, which is the 276. Which we really are doing the 276, but we'll leave it there because you can see it on the opposite side for the radials. So, can now open up the speed brakes. Now we're going to go to the 276 now. Passing through 10,000 feet now, so we turn landing lights can come on runway turn offs. We will, and we'll sort of come in to prepare for landing. Okay, so we drop the speed brakes. As we're now going to slowly descend backtrack round and then once we do we want to backtrack round onto the 117. So there's the 117. Currently heading now to barrels. Got the ADF in which we can see. So as we descend now through 8,800 feet, going to be 4,000 above. As we get ready to make that right hand turn on to Toppid, which is 231. Then 220 below, 213, and then we'll be dropping our flaps. So cabin crew prepare for arrival. As we get ready to blast through the clouds. Taking on to that 117 track. Passing through 7008 now, auto brake number max was gonna be uh, was gonna be used. So now we're gonna go around to the 117. Okay, now we'll make that spin around. Holding the FMC speed as we're going to get ready down to uh, start to slow down even more. So, flaps 30, 152 plus 5, 157. So, it should be all ready to come in. We're looking all good. Uh, we're just waiting for the uh, local deviation to come around 4,000 above. So, you see the weather just reload. So it's for a uh, surprise. So, we let the aircraft slowly uh, slow itself down. Not going to bother open up the speed brakes as they are in their armed position as we uh, come down. So heading back down onto the 117 now, passing through 5007, just going under 250 from the weather reload. So from Tipod. We're going to head down onto the 117 and then from there 8.3 DME from Wallersby 
we're then going to make that arc. So still got Waller's beaten as we come down onto the 117 now. So we'll see what the aircraft does with its waypoint. As visibility isn't very nice right now, so we can go back down onto the 087. Okay, which is set. 4,000, we're going to be 4,000 above, so we can now go down to our 2,500 feet, which is set. QNH can be set back over to 0998, which is set. Auto brake is max. As we are getting ready to descend down now, we're going to go down for 2,500. So, we'll tell the aircraft now to uh, get ready to go. They're just waiting for us to slow down. Okay, so if you don't want to do it, we'll go down into level change. Go down to flaps up. And we'll get ready now to uh, turn around as the aircraft's going to uh, backtrack now with 087. It's going to do its left turn around as we come back on ourselves. Okay, 4,003. Can hold it down for around about 1,000 feet per minute. That's 2,500 we need to come in for. The aircraft's going to circle around to backtrack there was a halt there. So as you come down 4,000, ground flaps up as we turn around now and we can now activate the ILSs which are all set. As we come around the bend, passing through 3,700 feet, ready to interlock back around for the arc. So, final preparations, we've got flaps 3152, plus 5, we'll blew it at plus 10, so 162, just to be on the safe side, so half of the, uh, half of the wind, thousand to go. going to leave the gusts, 1,000 feet to go, 3,300, we need to be down there for 2,005, as we're just coming back around now, and we go back down onto the 087. down to 500 feet as we slowly come down now and on our speed it'd be 213 so we are up to our flat up speed now we should now move on to our next track heading of 173 okay which is set coming down for 2005 087 all the way down to runway 09. So we're going to stay at 2,500 feet now, which is our uh, intercept. We've got 157, so we're looking about 850 feet per minute on the glide slope as we come down now and we run around the arc and ready to intercept. So I'm going to put the approach on now and arm it as the lower glides is over to the right. The glide slope is well above now, ready for us to intercept. Rail flaps up. We are ready to go to flaps five, as you can see our decel down for 173, which is right here, which is our flaps five, as you can see the mic marker. So as we get ready to come in now, onto that final left turn, So, we can now program the 087. ATF's on as well. Okay, and just as we get ready to intercept for the localizer, we 
can uh, get our speed a drop down now to 173, which is a set as the speed drops now. See it at 15 miles up, so say for flaps five. So localizers now been intercepted as you come round for that lovely arrival into Liverpool. So for our approach checklist we've got engine start switches which are continuous which is checked, we've got 0998 of the Q&H's which are cross checked on either side. Coming down on the single channel now for the Cat1 ILS for the NDB approach. Everything's all set overhead, 240, landing altitude 57 plus uh, so we leave it at 50. Barrows 260 for 200 foot decision, auto brake is armed and we are currently at our flaps 5 which are 175. So we'll hold out now for 175 until the glyso comes back. So I don't know where uh, where all the winds were in the uh, FMC, but it doesn't look uh, doesn't look too rocky from uh, where we're sitting. So. So what we'll do is on our rev we'll plus ten. So there we go, we've got Liverpool in our sights. 10 DME now, glide slope has now come to life. As we slowly break down, so 3 degree glide path, we're looking for about 850 feet per minute. We'll see on the glide slope as well as it comes down. So we're just waiting for the glide slope to now uh, switch over from the altitude hold. And now we're all set, ready to go in for our lovely arrival into Liverpool. So we can now lower our speed to a flap 15. And go into Okay, 2500 check. Okay, so we go down to flaps 30. So, now we're going to come down onto the glide slope. I want to bring it down to 162. As we come around the bend now, 1700 feet, so we are fully established on the glide slope. And as I say, we're coming down for around 900 feet per minute. So 850, there we go. So as the chart suggests, 850. And as I'm happy now, we can disconnect the autopilot and the auto throttle. And we'll now get the aircraft manually in. So we'll just trim out to uh, get our trim for our descent. So we're looking for around uh, 850 feet per minute. So we just need to come down a little more. There's 900 feet. So we've got two red, two white. Gear is down, three green. Flaps 30, fully established. And we are inbound on the ILS. So we'll just come over a little bit. Drop our speed as we slowly nose up. One thousand. One thousand check. So 
we're just doing minor corrections now. So come over and get ready for the threshold. 500. 400. Plus 100. 300. Minimums. Continue. 200. Oh, I don't know what's happened with the altitude. 100. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So, we'll now get ready to vacate off of the taxiway. Speed brakes is retracted, we've got our flaps which are up, auto brakes off. We can now get ready to turn off our landing lights, runway turn offs, taxis can go on now, we're well, and we'll tell the cabin to relax. So as we now go and taxi to the gate guys can do is we'll go to our uh, landing cinematics as we just made this left turn about okay so there we are guys. So we're going to taxi now up to the game and we'll go to our landing cinematics. So don't forget to like and subscribe guys. Help us get to that 2k subscriber goal.